guys, welcome to Paige Genesis Room. Today, this is going to be the makeup addition to my, or makeup tutorial to my wedding addition video. So, I hope you guys all enjoy. Alright, so hey guys, let's get started. So, first off, my little bat here. I'd like to say hi. Thank you! And my little ghost. Alright, so, the first thing that I'm going to do is kind of walk through my first part of my facial uh, routine with you guys with the products that I'm going to be using. I will walk through them. Also, I will have the list of brands usually once I get this up and edited of what I'm using. So, first off, um, I'm going to go ahead and start out with some concealer. This is the e.l.f. Concealer Korean, I like to call it. It is not that liquid, but it is the Korean-y type. Uh, it just looks like this. And this, I believe, is an ivory. I'm just putting this all over my face where I have red dots or red blotches that I'm afraid of. <laughs> Not afraid of, but that I don't care for. And then I'm going to take, whoops, a concealer brush that looks like this. This is the e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to apply it anywhere my, my fingers aren't really going to spread too well. And I'm just going to spread it around. I personally don't think this brush spreads concealer like it should. I don't think anything spreads concealer like your finger does. So, uh, yeah, but I like to use this to get it in my creases and my nose. You need to be careful when doing this and make sure that you definitely wash it out because that is where, uh, that is where acne starts when it starts the build up from the makeup, so you want to be very careful. Alright, once you're done using that, then I usually just use the best tool called my fingers, and I rub it in. All right. All right. So my um my concealer <coughs> is now rubbed in. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with um my powder. I'm pressing on my powder. So yeah, I'm done. Alright, so I'm taking this Beer Minerals brush, Flawless Face, and I pretty much made it into a kabuki brush by just pressing because you never want to rub the foundation into your face, um, the powder into your face, simply because um, it will get into your pores and they're really hard to get out when you rub. Alright, so like I said, I don't have much of this left, but I'm going to use whatever left I have. <laughs> I definitely hit pan, guys. Whoa, that stinked. Some of it just fell out but I don't have much. Alright, so I'm just pressing it on here. Like I said, with like, just pressing it. And I did want to say that e.l.f. concealer isn't the best thing in the world. I use it more for a highlighter than anything. Alright, I'm going to go down along my neck a little bit here. Just so that it evens out my skin tone. I'm going to go really close by my ears here. And I would always recommend going over your eyes so that it looks natural and you don't have like these white eyes with this tanner shade. Alright, so now I'm going to go to bronzer. I'm going to also be taking my Bare Minerals uh, IP Tampered Blush brush. And I actually used this for... Um, bronzer. So I am taking my the Natural Stella palette that looks like this and I am using the Soft Clay Bronzer um, and it is 0 0.11 ounces and yeah. So it looks like this and I'm using this little guy right here. Very nice shade, simple, natural. You can't really tell too much but it does put a nice frame on your face. For a wedding, you do want to put extra makeup on personally from my experience because you're going to be wearing it all day. Uh, normally, I will wear my makeup for a little bit and then I will take it off like at night. I'm also applying this underneath my cheekbones. Um, but, I don't know. I always like to put a little bit more makeup on um, because of that. And definitely put it in your temples. I love to cake it in my temples. 
Alright, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and put on some <laughs> all over shimmer. This is Organza is what this is called. And this comes with Stella palette also. And it's right here. Here's the clay bronzer. Here's the shimmer. So I'm just going to apply that on my face with actually my blush brush blush brush that looks like this. And this is the Ohio's brand. And I'm just going to put it all over my brush here. And it's just going to go all over. Alright, so there's the underneath part. Then I'm going to take my front. I'm going to go, oh, factuation. This is 2.4 grams and 0 0.8 ounces. I got this from Ulta, obviously, my local beauty shop. And I believe this was $6.99. Alright, so I'm going to take my blush brush again. I know this is big, but you know, bear with me. And I'm going to just rub it in there, get it nice and good, and let's all make a fish face. Here we go, everybody. Alright, and I put a little bit on my temples too. I always like using blush in the winter. I feel like it really warms up your face and I don't know. So, there's my blush. Alright, so now after I have all that done, that's pretty much my face routine. Now we're going to move on to the eyeballs. So, let's do that. So, I'm going to be getting out, oh, if I can find it, this one that I that I usually use for um, weddings. It's just very sparkly and fun. Looks like this. It's Claire Cosmetics eye makeup. Um, and this was $5.50. I'm sure you guys have seen this in much of makeup tutorials for weddings. But yeah, so I'm just going to open that up. I'm also going to be using the Natural Stella palette. And I'm going to be using Pure in that if you had the palette and you know what that looks like. It's the first one right here. It looks like that. It's just a white off-white shimmer that looks really nice. Whoa! Or that doesn't have a shimmer. That looks really nice. And then I'm also going to be popping on, popping on a little bit of the stuff right here that I actually got at. I'm like seeing stuff that I didn't know that I had. Um, I'm going to be popping on a little bit of this. This is Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow with Brush. I might just pop a little bit of this underneath. That way it gives a funner shimmer. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to be popping on the underneath of the eye. So let's get started on that. So this is just going to go right underneath my eyes here, all over. And I am using an Ohio's brush again. And this is just an all over brush for your eyes that you always need. These come in so handy. I love them. And I absolutely love this palette, by the way. Alright, so I'm just rubbing that on all over my face here. Rubbing it all around, up and down. <laughs> and do a little bit more on this side. And this is just going to lighten up the eyes so that when the sparkles come in, they're going to go BAM! <laughs> oh, look awesome. I swear. Do you guys see it like flying up? It's because my wind's coming in here because I have my window open right there. And it's like all over. Okay. What? Whoa. Wonderful, wonderful darlings. Okay, so now I'm going to pop a little bit of this LA Color Shimmer and Loose Eyeshadow with Brush. And this is BS 404 Radiant. And I don't recommend this because the brush really hurts and it's weird. I got it at the dollar store, but whatever. Alright, so. Just popping a little bit of this on all over my eyes. And I'm going very light at the top and a little bit darker at the bottom. Uh, simply because you don't want a huge amount of darkness on the top of your eye because it'll look a little silly. Alright, so that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to pop a little bit more on there though. Alright, so now I have a shimmer all over my eyes. And now I'm going to move to, um, now I'm going to move to my Claire's. Do not recommend this palette. Uh, it is very cheap. It's more for like even face painting. Um, but, however, I do use it for weddings because, um, I don't know. 
<laughs> I just use it for weddings because I usually use this for special occasions like Halloween or the wedding. A wedding. It's just it's fun, but it's extremely wet, so I do not recommend rubbing your eyes with this. Also, I'm going to put it, put it on light eyeliner. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna also be putting on eyeliner before I do this because this will completely ruin your eyeliner. Sparkles will be on you for months, so I'm gonna put on my eyeliner now. There's one eye, and put it on the other. Alright, so they're both the eyes, and I'm really happy with them. I think they look really nice. Now I'm going to pop. Alrighty. Pretty happy with the end result, as you can see. And it looks pretty nice. So now I'm just going to go ahead, whoopsie. Now I'm just going to go ahead and um, go through and just kind of wipe down my eyelashes. Because sometimes your eyelashes will get stuck in that wetness. Okay, and now I'm going to. Now I'm done with eyeshadow, now I'm going to go on back underneath with eyeliner, and I'm going to put on my under eye. So there's one under eye. And there's the other. So everything's pretty much done besides lips and mascara, and I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. So I'm using this ELF 3-in-1 Mascara Lengthening Defining and Volumizing. These will work better than fake eyelashes, so I'm using them. I love this mascara. Best thing ever. I actually got this at the Target in Florida. Love it. It won't really make your eyelashes pop, too. And see when I difference to the other. Much better, and the brush looks like this. If you guys are wondering, I, think I love it. All right, pop it on this one now. I'm coming. Don't step. Don't walk through here because I have the camera to where it'll see you. Okay, mom's still in her bathroom. Alright, and then now I'm just using this fun pearly lipstick. And that's it. What? Do I have your what? No. I don't think so, unless they're in front of the front door. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This was my all over makeup edition uh, makeup for wedding. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I have. I don't know right here. That needs to go away. Okay, so yeah. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more wedding uh, Halloween things editions. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Talk to you guys later. Bye.